Okay, well, welcome to the uh, Bookmap Platform Details webinar. Uh, risk disclaimer, uh, trading equities and futures involves substantial risk of loss, is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not indicative of future results. For more information, go to bookmap.com and uh, become a member there. Lots of free resources uh, when you are uh, in the members portal. Uh, and then uh, reach out to us at support at bookmap.com. So any new traders out there, uh, anyone new to bookmap, first time users here? Anybody? Or are you guys uh, actually in uh, in trial? Um, ah, okay, uh, B, B Williams, welcome, okay. Um, ah, there's a few more, okay, yeah. Um, well, welcome guys. Uh, so let's um, uh, just go through uh, what this book, um, book map um, uh, platform details webinar is all about. Uh, we're just going to go through the uh, what book map is showing you uh, so that uh, you can take a look here and uh, understand uh, really, you know, there's a, it looks like there's a lot going on and we're just going to break this down and simplify it because it's actually very, very simple. Uh, and um, a very objective view of the marketplace, and uh, we'll we'll get into that in just just a minute here, um, and uh, so and, and ask questions because th this is a there's a lot of things going on here, uh, there's all sorts of features and functionality, uh, and uh, we've separated that out now uh, for uh, for all users or all anyone can come to this platform details webinar, uh, and then um, uh, once. Uh, you become um, in the in the trial. There's a, a free trial, uh, 14 days that you get. Uh, once you become uh, in, in trial, uh, then you have access to the live order flow advanced analysis webinar. So uh, the first one, and that that's at 11, uh, you know, in uh, 25 minutes. So this one uh, is for those that uh, already have Bookmap um, and um, have more specific questions on what what they're looking at and how, how to use it. And uh, so uh, we'll go over that in detail here in this webinar. So, um, uh, so it's a process. And uh, let me show you where you can find the um, uh, find book map if you want to give it a try. You find it down here. It's underneath the pricing tab. So I'll just click on that. Uh, and um, uh, this is where you can find it. So there's the basic and the advanced versions. Uh, and uh, you can see the pricing here. They are billed quarterly, but you get that 14-day trial period. Okay. Now, the basic and advanced plus DX feed, it's the same book map. Uh, it just comes with DX feed. Now, the DX feed uh, is for U.S. equities. It's not for futures, only U.S. equities. Okay. That's a new, new feature that we have. Uh, so uh, you can uh, uh, take a look at some of the equities and... Um, uh, you can also, if you subscribe to Bookmap Basic or Advanced, you can also add the DX feed. So this is just a package deal. Okay, that's the difference. Um, and then once you become a member, you get the uh, access to the portal here. Uh, there's, uh, you know, uh, features, uh, videos, education uh, videos, uh, and um, uh, Bookmap uh, educational partners here that uh, you can view all of the uh, uh, different um uh, different webinars okay and then uh, you can follow us here on Twitter uh, this will uh, you'll get the most updated uh, information here in uh, uh, in Twitter and then uh, our YouTube page uh, if you're new here this is what I would uh, recommend watch the um, the intro video uh, and then um, the features and components watch a few of these uh, just get a feel for what it is Bookmap is, is showing you. Uh, then um, uh, there's these um, uh, order flow video snippets. They're very short, and they'll go through uh, a lot of phenomena that we see in the advanced um, uh, webinars, and we go through the, that uh, information in detail. So it gives you a feel for uh, what Bookmap is showing you and how to use it. Uh, there's also the Bookmap Education course here. Uh, and uh, and then some of the recorded webinars you'll find here. Okay. So last week we actually um, allowed uh, users uh, a couple days uh, sneak peek uh, Thursday and Friday into the advanced um, uh, webinars as well. So you can take a look there. Okay. So let's get into Bookmap and what it's showing you. All right. And uh, I'm going to start here. 
with taking off information. And what are we looking at? Okay, even the indicator panel down here, we don't want to look at that. I'm just going to look at and uh, looking at the uh, 6E here. Uh, so this is the uh, euro dollar. Uh, and um, uh, let's take a, a quick look here. So uh, this is a, it's a five minute candlestick chart, I believe. Let me see here. Candles, no, one minute. Let's go to five. There we go. And let's zoom out. Okay. All right, so what we're looking at here is just a, a five minute candlestick chart. And, um, and we have a, a volume uh, sub panel here as well. So uh, you, can, you can see um, uh, the volume on some of these, uh, some of these candles here, where, where the volume took place. Now, the, the problem here with the candlestick chart is it's just open, high, low, close of a five minute period. Right now, you can interpret some of the candles in various ways on the patterns and and uh, et cetera, and and start to read you know order flow basically, uh, but um, uh, you're really getting very very limited insight here, and, and that's a problem. You're making financial decisions based on basically five percent of of the uh, data uh, that you 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 receiving from the marketplace. Uh, we don't know, uh, for example, the volume. Where, where did the uh, uh, trader trades take place? Uh, how much? Uh, where did the volume take place on that candlestick? Uh, and uh, what type of volume? Uh, that's really insightful information, uh, and we just don't know. And we also don't know uh, the, uh, the, the auction, and uh, I'll cover that in just a minute. But let's turn on a few of the bits of data here. And I'm just going to turn on the best bid and offer. Okay, so now you're looking at uh, the candlestick chart, and we have the best bid and offer. Okay, so um, uh, let's uh, let's take a look at uh, since we're still trending down on the on the six E. Let's look at uh, maybe this area up here. Okay, and what what do we see in this uh, uh, five minute five minute period here in this area? So let's just click on the hand tool, hover over this area, and zoom in with my center mouse wheel. All right. Okay. So you can see the um, the historical best bid and offer uh, is actually giving us uh, already uh, quite a bit of information uh, compared to the candlestick. And what you start to see is the emergence of microstructures. Okay. You can see that uh, we went kind of sideways here uh, in this period. And when we see the drop uh, that that occurred, and then we see the kind of sideways activity. Uh, end of that five minute period, we, there was an immediate uh, move up to, to the test, the high up here, uh, and you can see a little bit of sideways action, and then it drops again. That candlestick is not telling you any of that uh, information. Uh, you, you, don't know, you don't understand uh, where it's accepting or rejecting, um, uh, and uh, uh, now you can see these microstructures. Okay? Now we're going to place the volume on this and get a, a much more interesting picture here. Okay. Now we're starting to understand and putting uh, uh, definition uh, on the trading that took place within this five-minute period, and there, this this is some pretty good activity here. Uh, look at the look at the aggressive buying up here, uh, and uh, again I can zoom in very easily uh, using the hand tool or move tool, and then just uh, uh, left click, hold, and scroll back and forth, uh, or zoom in quickly by my center mouse wheel. Okay, so we can see that this five-minute period ended, and then boom, uh, a lot of buying jumped in. Okay, and you can see uh, that that buying here, the size of the dot is is telling me uh, this is a lot of volume. Okay, you can see it matches with the sub chart down below, uh, and then uh, we can also we we know that a green dot is uh, aggressive uh, market buy order, uh, and a red dot is an aggressive market sell. Okay, so uh, let's zoom in a little closer here, uh, and I'll continue to zoom in. And actually, there's a little bit of little little bit of latency here. So um, uh, this actually between best bid and offer and, and the volume traded, uh, there's some latency here. Uh, but um, uh, it, because you can't have trades take place outside of the best bid and offer. Um, so let's uh, find something that's a little simpler. Okay, well, let's look at some of this sell volume here. So here's your historical best bid and offer, okay? And then this red dot is an aggressive market sell order. I can, you know, you can see the size of it by using the rollover tool, 
uh, and just hover over it and, and you get the uh, data here that says the date, the time, what was on the best bid and offer, and the volume, okay? So, uh, and, and so we know this is a volume of one, this is a volume of three, and also my um, volume column over here also says it's four altogether for this range, okay? So as I zoom out though, um, you can see that um, uh, there's so many trades that take place so quickly uh, in the algorithmic uh, environment uh, that um, uh, it's impossible to, uh, uh, you know, uh, plot all of that data. So what we'll do is just visually aggregate that into this pie display. So you can see this cluster of volume up here. There's buying and selling inside of it. And, um, uh, the, but the, the majority by far here is buying. Okay, so there's a volume of 29 up here. Uh, in this volume cluster, and uh, and we we know that uh, you know probably uh, like 25 or you know bit more than 20 uh, is uh, aggressive buying. All right, so let's uh, let's continue to zoom in here, and you can see how Bookmap will break apart uh, all of that trading activity and show you exactly what traded here. Okay, and uh, and here you go. So we have all of the data. Uh, it's plot. It's plotted onto, um, um, every single event is plotted onto the chart, but as you zoom out, you still get the overall understanding of that volume, all right? Okay, so that's what the uh, the volume dots are showing you, and, uh, and now we're starting to interpret a little bit of this as well, right? This is going to be some trap volume up here. Uh, there's a lot of buying. They're trying to get above here. <clears throat> into uh, uh, the high of this uh, this candlestick, uh, looking for, you know, extension above, and uh, uh, they're not getting it. Uh, it. It failed. Now, these guys are trapped. Uh, and wh what are they going to do? I mean, uh, you can see the uh, immediate move down here. We get a small bounce, but we don't, we do not come back to that area. They are trapped. They are going to cover probably down here, okay, below the uh, swing here of that previous candlestick. And lo and behold, look at the, uh, the 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 trading that took place down here. Okay, we see the um, uh, a lot of selling. So these guys, as soon as they started, as soon as they hit that market buy button, they are now sellers. And it looks to me like they're covering here. All right. So now we're now we're getting an understanding of microstructure uh, and the volume. And uh, and this is uh, really really good information. You can start to anticipate that kind of behavior of these traders just by understanding the volume and where it took place, okay? And that candlestick, you're not getting that. Um, so um, uh, anyway, uh, that is the um, uh, traded volume. Now, as we, uh, let's go to the current market and um, I usually don't cover the Euro. Uh, just, I was on it and uh, just uh, thought I'd uh, jump right in. Uh, so, uh, uh, anyway, um, we usually look at the S&P and oil, uh, but uh, it's good to mix it up a little bit. Uh, especially, uh, I want to show something in the currencies for, for any of you guys who are currency traders. So, um, uh, you know, a lot of, there's a lot of traders out there who look at the futures uh, data uh, in, uh, in Bookmap, uh, and then they'll trade in the spot Forex, though. Okay, that's where they'll transact. Uh, but they want the insight with all of this uh, detailed uh, information of the volume and uh, the auction. So that's what we're going to get into next. Okay. So this is great to understand the volume and the transaction um, on the chart historically. Okay. And starting to interpret some of these areas. Now what we want to do though, is we want to interpret current uh, price and what might unfold. Uh, and, uh, and this is done usually in the dome. And most traders are uh, pretty, pretty um, familiar with the, uh, the dome. Okay, so uh, here's our dome and book map, uh, and uh, it's the current order book column. Okay, I also have another current order book column here, uh, and uh, it's it's a graphical representation of the liquidity. Okay, so at, at each price level here, uh, what I'm looking at is the amount of contracts uh, that are available uh, to be uh, bought up here. These are sellers lining up <coughs> on the historical, I'm sorry, in the current book. Okay, uh, and uh, we can see them, <coughs> and this is the uh, the uh, the bid and the depth of the bid, and uh, you can see your inside uh, level one data right here. This is your best bid and offer. 
okay? And that's reflected here in this window as well. Best bid and offer, and then this number is the last traded volume. All right, so that is the dome. Now you can also right click in these, uh, in any of these columns and format them into different ways. Um, or you can uh, insert a new column down here or hide a new column. And you can see all the different data types that we have. Volume columns, trade counter columns, quotes counter columns, quotes delta, notes, and time and sales column. Okay, so now this information is good uh, in the viewing the current market by reading the dome. We're starting to understand now, not just the, the volume, we've, we, we've moved on from volume, now we want to understand the auction. Okay, and uh, looking at it here, uh, we're starting to understand where traders are lining up. Okay, there's a lot of sellers up here. Uh, this is the uh, highest uh, amount of uh, liquidity in the book right now. Okay, uh, and uh, it looks like they're just about to be tested. So uh, we're coming right up to them, and we'll see if they want to trade or not. We want to read the intent of these traders. Look at how they pulled, and uh, now they're up here at um, uh, 118.20. Okay, now it's 116 up here. Okay, now 109 back in here. Anyway, what I'm trying to get at here is I don't even remember what that number was here, it, where it was exactly, um, at what the price level was. And that's a problem with the dome. Uh, you're going to have to remember where they were and if they might show up again. And, um, uh, you know, that's, uh, that's a problem with the dome. It gives the current state of the market, but we don't. We, you know, you're going to have to remember all of these numbers. You're going to have to remember how much changed, how much pulled, how much added, uh, and uh, what about areas around it, and what about on the bid? Okay, were they uh, skewing the auction in a different direction uh, to maybe get price to come up into those areas? Okay, that's a lot to decipher uh, from a dome, and it can be very tedious. So uh, that's a problem, and uh, what Bookmap has done to solve that issue uh, is give it a graphical representation and a heat map. So this is still the current market window here. And uh, you can see that uh, the, this, this grayscale heat map will change. And uh, when you see that change and it gets brighter, that's liquidity being added. When it gets darker, that's liquidity being pulled. Okay, so we can see up here at uh, 1820, uh, these guys just pulled a lot of liquidity. Okay, they were, it was pretty high and then they pulled. So they have less intent to trade now is, is the way I, I'm reading that. Now, because of that, uh, uh, this graphical representation in the heat map, now I'm starting to understand it historically as well because we take that data and we plot it onto the chart. So what you're looking at here in the grayscale is the, uh, the auction. Uh, you're starting to read uh, the historical um, uh, auction that's taking place here. Where did they bid before? How much? Uh, and uh, you can use a rollover tool uh, to uh, tool tip uh, to, uh, to to read that if you like, uh, and um, start to understand these areas of liquidity and if they mean business, if they want to trade or not. These guys at um, at, at eighteen and uh, uh, eighteen, seventeen and, and a half, um, they're 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 pulling. Right, you know, they're uh, some some traded right here as we can see, uh, but uh, they they really don't have the intent to trade. They're pulling and adding to higher levels, and that's uh, actually pretty bullish. You know, they're not uh, they don't really want to be sellers here. They want to be sellers up here. All right, and uh, then we start to look for uh, uh, this uh, different uh, different insights uh, and evidence, uh, it, and this is factual. Uh, uh, information that tells us that, uh, wow, there are more buyers than sellers down here and they're pulling on the uh, on the offer to higher areas. Uh, and uh, I'm starting to read now and the intent of these traders and starting to put the pieces together, okay? And uh, uh, starting to understand the complete picture of the order flow. We have the, the volume that's telling us quite a bit and now we have the auction that's giving us a lot of insight as well. And uh, that is uh, pretty pretty golden information. Right? It uh, uh, can be really, really helpful uh, to understand uh, areas of uh, where traders are lining up to buy and sell. Okay. So I think we're going to test this high okay, at 1820. 
right? Look at look at the skew in the book that's starting to emerge here. Uh, and uh, and we'll see though. Like uh, you know, something might change and shift very quickly in the dome, uh, and uh, and it will be reflected in the heat map. But uh, as we know right now, in the way that we we're reading this, uh, we're reading the uh, aggressive um, uh, you know uh, volume, and we see the the green dots pulling price up, and we're seeing it being supported here um, in the auction as well. They're starting to pull liquidity, uh, and they're starting to add it to higher levels uh, on the uh, uh, on the uh, offer, and then they're adding uh, liquidity at higher levels on the bid as well. So you start to uh, look for uh, areas where it might go. And, uh, you know, I would uh, look, I would start to anticipate this 1820 to be tested. Right? And there you go. So now, uh, if you're bullish, there's all sorts of strategies uh, you can start to employ here. You can look for pullbacks uh, into areas. And, uh, and then look for that extension to occur, okay? All right, some questions here. Um, so let me get to those. Uh, let's see here. You can't get su support to bookmap, uh, Elena? Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, reach out to support at bookmap.com. I mean, they're 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 there, uh, and um, uh, and I can I can help you as well. Okay, so uh, uh, yeah, please please reach out, um, and uh, we'll we'll uh, we'll get you up and running. Okay, all right, yeah, no problem. Um, so um, okay, yeah, I'll 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 help you out. No no problem. Uh, who are you connecting through? Infinity. Okay, so it's transact data. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, no problem. We'll uh, we'll get you up and running. Okay. All right. So let's see here. Um, ah, looking for the spoofing, uh, Francisco. Well, you know, one of the things here. I mean, the the um, the markets in in the currencies um, they trade differently um, than uh, you know a lot of the uh, the other markets. There's a lot more hedging in these. They're thinner markets. Even this is the euro dollar, and you know this is the thickest one. Uh, but uh, you can see there's just tens of contracts. It gets into the hundreds, um, but um, you know it's not uh, not very thick. Uh, and um, uh, and you can see all sorts of information here just just by looking at the way they're providing liquidity. Look at these little striations here, of like every other tick. Uh, these are larger players. Okay, we we just tested our 1820. You can see the best uh, offer went into the 1820, right? So, you know, was that magical? Was that crystal ball reading? A absolutely not. It was just factual data that we're reading. And we start to anticipate uh, uh, price uh, action based on uh, what we're reading here, okay? So um, uh, let's see if uh, maybe uh, here's, here now is trading at 1820. Okay. Now we're looking for stops are going to be triggered up in this area here too. Okay. So um, we want to see if we reject or accept up in these areas here. All right. Okay. So um, uh, anyway, um, it's always nice to uh, to you know start to uh, read the uh, the order flow. And we do this in the advanced webinars, all, you know, the entire time basically. Uh, start to uh, put these pieces together in, in our, our process, uh, and then start to uh, look for uh, you know areas to be to be traded or tested. Okay, uh, and just going through this very objective process here, uh, and um, uh, and start to look for those those uh, areas to be uh, uh, to transact. Okay, here 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 comes that here comes the stop run. Okay, and uh, now we need to see though like uh, they really uh, you know. Uh, this is looking pretty good, right? Uh, and uh, but uh, is it going to be sustained? Uh, we'll get into this uh, later. Um, but uh, uh, anyway, it leads up to that, and you guys can start to piece this together uh, in Bookmap. All right. So, um, uh, any other questions before we uh, uh, stop the webinar and, uh, and then jump and bounce to the uh, advanced uh, uh, webinar at, at eleven? Besides Elena. 
Uh, just reach out at you, um, Elena, uh, support at bookmap.com by email. You tried it. Okay, they're there. I mean, they should be, you know, I, I, I spoke with the team just uh, minutes before. Okay, well, we'll help you out. Okay, so uh, why don't you jump to the um, uh, next webinar, Elena, and then I can help you when I finish that. Okay. All right. Uh, and I can remote into your machine uh, as well. All right. Okay. Well, uh, that wraps it up. Uh, and uh, we'll do it again tomorrow and uh, answer any of your questions here. So, you know, that's what the, the platform details is uh, is all about, is to, uh, to go through this and um, uh, for you guys to understand what it is you're looking at. Uh, and then uh, uh, that's the, 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 the basis of it. And we start to get into reading some of the order flow as well, but not much. Uh, we want to go through uh, the functionality of the platform so that uh, when you're ready and when you have Bookmap, uh, then uh, we can start to get into uh, how to use it within the live markets. Okay. All right, guys. Yeah, thanks for coming. And we'll catch up tomorrow.